Hi, I just thought I'd um, share with you a couple of quick experiments I've been having <coughs> looking at turning a pillar drill into a milling machine. Um, I decided to try and have a go at using the £60 Parkside uh, from Lidl pillar drill um, and turning that into the milling machine. And part of the reason for that is when you adjust the height, the entire body of the motor moves up and down rather than um, moving the quill up and down. Uh, with cheap pillar drills in the past, I've thought about doing it, but I figured it wouldn't work because there's so much slop in the quill when you pull it down that um, the, the, you know, the bit would just chatter all over the place. But this particular machine, the entire body of the motor moves up and down. In order to provide a bit of work holding and uh, as control of X and Y, uh, I bought one of these really cheap XY tables off eBay for sort of 20 quid. Um, turned up today, so this is the first couple of goes I've actually had at doing it. Um, it was a bit sloppy when I got it, so I greased the ways uh, and adjusted the tightness on the little sort of inserts that, that adjust the, um, the the grip on the ways. There's a couple of little set screws there, uh, and also one for the other side on the on the other side um, that control the tightness. It happened to be, and I had no idea, but a, a handy coincidence is that the centres for the bolt holes on this particular XY table fit exactly or line up exactly with the slots in the base of the pillar drill so a couple of bolts and the whole thing slides into position. In order to keep an eye on how uh, high or, or how far I'm plunging it uh, I've got a little magnetic clamp stand uh, with a dial gauge set up on top uh, it's just touching the top of the motor for the time being I'll probably rig something up a bit better um, but that at least allows me to keep half an eye on how far I'm plunging down um, in order to do that I've just been uh, tweaking it up and down very gently uh, and then locking it into position rather than using the handle to move it up and down because it's you know I can't hold on to that whilst I'm turning the X and Y table so I just nudge the handle down a little bit say you know a tenth of a mil or something like that and then lock it into place and then just keep an eye on how far I've moved it down using this dial gauge at the bottom here I've set up a, a little bit of aluminium, I'm 99.999% sure this would not machine steel, uh, just about copes with aluminium, but for what I want just about is, is good enough, I'm not turning out high quality parts, I just want to be able to machine um, some chunks of aluminium into roughly the right sort of shape, if I've got to file them a little bit or do a bit of um, finishing work on it, that's fine by me. So we've got a piece mounted here and I'm just using a... Um, uh, I think that's a three or four flute mill, milling bit, uh, just mounted up in the standard chuck. I haven't actually looked yet to see whether I can take the chuck out. It looks like I might be able to, uh, and whether there's an opportunity there to put a, um, you know, a collet chuck or something like that in there instead. I, I don't know. The whole thing's reasonably solid. There's not, not a great deal of play. There's a tiny little bit of knock in the bearing. Uh, that's there. Uh, it may be possible if I find good success with it and, and that little bit of wibble is something that's caused me an issue, I might be able to swap that out or change the bearing, maybe see if I can put a taper bearing in there or something, but for the time being I'm just rolling with what i got. Right, in order to make life a bit easier I've stuck an electric drill on the end of the um, Y-axis just to make things a bit more consistent and to be honest show you how it works for the best possible light. Here you go, let's have a go.
it's not pretty, but it works. I certainly need to play around with it a bit more. Let's set up for another pass and see if we can get that a bit better. Right, let's give that another go. Um, I think speed's about 1200 RPM. I have no idea whether that's right or not, but uh, I guess I should uh, have a look at that in a bit more detail. Have a look at some charts. Again, it's not, it's not perfect, but it's passable. It's straight, it's relatively flat, it's a bit chattery, but again, you know, if you're milling apart and you just gotta do a you know a small bit and you gotta do a bit of hand filing afterwards, that's I'd say that's passable. Let's see how we go with a facing cut. See if this works. I haven't really tried this properly yet, so uh Get some more oil as well. Crikey! Let's give this a go and see what we f see what happens.
as a result, it's um, you can see there the, the bit where I was taking a bit too much to start with. You can see the surface finish is alright, it's reasonably flat and smooth. I haven't even attempted to do any kind of tramming in or setting up in terms of the the flatness and squareness and, and all that kind of jazz. I didn't want to spend too much time if it didn't work, but I reckon that, that is on to a winner. That is a little pillar drill.